I'm going to show you how to make this really cool neon outline effect in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So for this effect, you're going to need to cut out your subject from the background, and there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can film your subject on a green screen and key that out later. If you have the time and patience, you can try rotoscoping it. Rotoscoping is making a mask around your subject and then animating that mask frame by frame by frame. It's so tedious. If you have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, you could try using the Magic Mask tool. If you don't have that, you can do what I did and use Runway ML. It's a website that's basically like Rotorbrush and After Effects or the Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve. It'll let you mask out your subject with a few clicks and then you can export that mask. And it has a free version, which is what I use. It's really awesome. I would definitely recommend checking that out. All right, here in DaVinci, got some footage I found on Pexels.com, which is free. I will link it in the description. This guy busting a move. Then I have the export from Runway. Just gonna put that on top. If you didn't use Runway and use some other way, you don't have to do this. Gonna select them all, right click, new fusion clip. I'll put that into one fusion clip and we can go into fusion. All right, now I'm just gonna label and organize my things. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna key out this guy using the Delta key here. And it really doesn't have to be too clean of a key. Just need enough to get the outline. So next, I'm gonna go under Templates, Tools. These are really cool tools. I have a video about it, you should check that out, definitely, where I go into more detail on all of them. But we are going to use just one, Edge Control. So if I look at that, we now have an outline of our guy that will update frame by frame, whatever he's doing. It's a little bit skinny though. So I'm gonna take the pre-blur size, bring that to one. Now we have a nice outline of our dancing guy. All right, so now we have our outline. Let's make it look neon. I'm going to add a soft glow. I'm gonna bring down the glow size a little bit so it's a bit tighter. Then I'm going to go into the color scale and just adjust the colors until I get something I like. All right, now I'm going to add another soft glow and bring down the gain on this one and bring out the blue more. Get this nice, cool electric blue look. Under this merge node, I'm gonna bring the apply mode to screen. Now I'm gonna show you how, to make, how I made the color changing effect in the beginning. I'm gonna shift space, CC, add a color corrector. I'm gonna go to first frame, put a keyframe on the hue, and do the same on the last frame. But I'm gonna bring the value to one. Now throughout the whole video, it'll cycle out through all the colors making this very cool, easy, color-changing neon outline effect. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you know someone who might be interested in this video, share it to them. Share it with all your video editing buddies. If there's an effect you would like to see a tutorial for, leave it in the comments down below.